Hey everybody, my name is Mackenzie, and what we're going to do today is we're going to learn how to use adaptive noise reduction in Premiere Pro. Let's get started. Adaptive noise reduction is really good at removing the white noise in your audio clip so that you no longer can hear it. And so what we're going to do is we're going to jump into our timeline here and see what clip we have. Makes you want to be a better person. So as you can see, you can still hear the voice, but there is a lot of white noise in this clip. So what we're going to do is we're going to highlight the clip, we're going to go down to effects, and we're going to type in adaptive. And what you're going to see is you're going to see adaptive noise reduction. You're going to drag that over to your highlighted clip. And then you're going to go into your effects controls and confirm that the effect transferred over, which it did. And so now we're going to listen to the effect um, with the adaptive noise reduction applied to it. Makes you want to be a better person. So that sounds really, really good, except one part, and that's the very beginning. With the adaptive noise reduction effect, for some reason, it takes an extra second or two for it to find the frequency that it wants to cut out. Now, there isn't really any way around it for an individual audio clip, but you can apply the effect for the entire Audio One bus. So what I'm going to do is I am going to hit Command Z and remove the effect. And so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to Window, I'm going to go to Audio Track Mixer, I'm going to click whatever's there, and you'll see here up in the top left there is an arrow that says Show Hide Effects and Sins. What you're going to do is you're going to click that arrow, and what it does is it brings up the bus controller. And so what this is, is it allows you to an, a, apply an effect across the entire bus. So you see here Audio 1, A1, that's down here where the clip is. And so what we're going to do is we're going to apply the effect to A1, so that all the clips that are in A1 automatically have the adaptive noise reduction effect applied to it. You're going to go above the, uh, above the black line here to the um, effects selection. You're going to come down here to noise reduction, adaptive noise reduction. And so what that does is that applies the effect to the Audio 1 bus and not specifically for that one clip. Makes you want to be a better person. So as you can see, it's applied to this effect, but in the beginning of the clip, it still has that second to two seconds where it's finding the frequency of that white noise. There is a way to make this sound better. So what you're going to do is you're going to right click on the effect, you're going to go down here to edit, and this comes up with all these different controls. And so what I always like to do is, num number one, reduce the noise by... Um, uh, 20, which is what it's at, and then what I like to do is go to signal threshold and raise it to 10. Makes you want to be a better person. So as you can see, it removes the, the majority of that white noise in the beginning of the clip. And so what you can do here is you can zoom in on your clip and you can kind of, um, you know, expand the clip a little bit, hit P and kind of fade in that little white noise section to try to get rid of that audio as much as you can. Let me see here. You can't totally wipe it out or else it can't find the frequency. So let's just adjust here and let's see what we got. That doesn't sound quite right. Makes you want to be a better person. As you can see, that takes out the majority of that beginning of that clip where it has the white noise. And so for all the audio tracks that you want the white noise effect added to, just put it into the A1 bus or whichever bus you assign the adaptive noise reduction to. And that's a little bypass that we discovered here with adaptive noise reduction. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave it down below. Hit that subscribe button. My name is Mackenzie. We'll see you guys here next week with Learn Stuff.